Greetings and salutations, Johnny Mac. Rock and Metal Plus. Drink first. Right, quick black metal update. Um, nine records, nine all to do. Um, in the background, we are listening to CD. This is Iselda. And I think this is called Deck Thou. Um, Iselda is Welsh black metal. Single man project. Dude's called Covid. Covid. Um. Great stuff. Um, I picked up this recently with a t-shirt. Um, some other bits and bobs from uh, Isilda's band camp. Um, I said this is a, as it says here. Um, this CD is not a remix, the master. Instead, it is the album as it originally sounded when it was released back in December 2017. Can't believe it's been that long since this album was released. The band have been through so much since then, and it's humbling to know that so many of you support and get excited about my music. Thank you for buying this album and for supporting Welsh black metal. So this is obviously uh, just the release of his 2017. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven track. Or when? Can't remember. Or EP. Anyway, I just looking for something to listen to, and I hadn't talked about this, so I thought I'd shove it in here with all this vinyl. <clears throat> Either already fucking black metal. It's great. I love a bit of Welsh black metal with my kids. So very different to the new Iselda um, album because the latest one is very um, almost doomy. It slowed it down a lot. It's still black metal, but it's very slow and heavy as fuck. This is just lasty stuff as you can fucking hear. Right, anyway, what have we got here? Right, first up, there's quite uh, I've got about five or six um, bands from the UK here, so you know, I like to promote UK black metal, new and old. So first up, out the sleeve, got this, it uh, came out 2020 on UK EM Records, a uh, band called Vegard, which is obviously, let's face it, who can lead the majority of logos anyway, it's a band called Vegard, uh, the album's called Call from the Forest, apparently that's what that fucking says. Yeah. Um, looking at this, two people, uh, Count Bornock and Grond, whoever the fuck all these people are. Apparently, this is um, from a band that are uh, from Devon in the UK. Uh, it's very atmospheric, it's also got a bit of ambient in it, but it obviously still fucking blasts as well. It's black metal. I came on. White vinyl, that is a black vinyl version as well. So pick this up from UK EM's website. Good shit. Right, next. Okay, some more UK black metal. As I said, it's quite a bit. Right, this is female fronted this time. This is a band called Blood Countess. Um, now, I've already spoken about this album before because I had it on cassette when it came out. Um, but when I heard out they were fucking doing it and a vinyl, I had to pick it up as well. Because you know me, I love a good record. Black metal shit is cool. Now, female vocalist is known as The Countess. Um, very, very cool. <coughs> Two members are very um, active on social media and shit, so really nice people. I got a long sleeve at the same time I bought this. Uh, this is on Black Vinyl. 
Very cool. I said I'm not going to talk too much about it because I've probably spoken about it. And I did the cassette. That's excellent. Get all of it if you can. Any format. Fucking brilliant. Love Blood Countess. Oh, the album's called Occulta Tenebris, I believe. Came out 2022. Next up, I think this also came out 2022. Uh, another UK quite well known band. That is Sacred Sun. Yeah, the one with the dude with the sunglasses on. The first album. This is their most black metal looking cover. Although, if you look up there, if you can see that, there is in fact a dude with a pair of fucking sunglasses in the background of this medieval execution. Marvellous shit. Um, gatefold, the, the lyrics. This is back, Sacred Sun logo. On the side, no, nothing inside. But it's gatefold, so we'll take it. Uh, vinyl is in just black. Very cool stuff. Uh, I said this one came out in 2022. Uh, it's called The Foul Death of Engelond. Um, probably his most commercial sounding black metal album. Still fucking great. Really enjoyable. Highly recommend it. Uh, and when I... It was... I ordered that fucking last year. And it didn't come out till about two months ago. I had serious problems. It, you know, I must have been like know, six or eight months waiting for the record to come through. And uh, when they finally got them in press, uh, the dude, Dane, who, um, the one man that does all the stuff, um, he contacted everyone that said that, that had ordered the vinyl and said, do you want a free piece of merch from the band camp just to say sorry for waiting so long for the vinyl? Uh, and I had a copy of the last EP that they brought out because I didn't it was, it was the cheapest thing on there so it was only like five quid for the little cardboard sleeve EP which I think I might have shown if I haven't I can't remember where the fuck I put it it's about some of them my sexual stuff all this stuff's great Sacred like Son of the Horse Leet <clears throat> right now um, these are quite local to me but obviously not but not in Wales this these are a band I think they're I don't know if they're all from or but they originate from Liverpool, which is close to me. And I've been told not to do a local accent again. So I went, because this sounds like shite. See, that's why I'm not supposed to do it. Marchie told me off last time. Um, Dawn Aid, excellent stuff. This is the Unlawful Assembly. Um, this was um, their first full length, uh, came out in 2017. This is the 2022 uh, repress of it. There's the hype sticker says on it. Hype sticker. Uh, limited edition, done they to the Unlawful Assembly. 2020 repress on white vinyl, 250 copies pressed worldwide. Um, from some quote from somewhere. Uh, the Unlawful Assembly is one 2017's finest extreme metal recordings. Uh, yeah, great, um, folky, black metal, all political, politically based, um, excellent stuff, um, the lead singer plays violin as well, hence the, the folky bits, excellent stuff, really, really cool, highly recommend them, it's a white vinyl, uh, I um, haven't got hold of the second album by Donate, but I also had to pick up the current album, which is their third, called To Know The Light. There's the cover. That excellent politically charged black metal album. This time it's on blue vinyl. Excellent stuff. Do this nicely. Uh, next up, going to the States. Um, this is a band called um, Journey into Darkness. Um, obviously, shipping from America's extortionate. So, um, to be fair, the guy got in touch with me and said, Listen, it's going to cost a fucking fortune. Thanks very much. I said, Well, do you mind signing it? I mean, of course I don't. So, he signed it there to John Stay Dark. Um, 
I think the guy's name is that. Yeah, that clothing turning into darkness. Now this is excellent symphonic, almost death metal in places, but it, it's it's um I think it's it's you could you could you, you can say it it's a uh, it's um black metal. Well, it is black metal, symphonic black metal. In the states, um, nice little note. Hi, John. Thanks for buying the copy on vinyl. Uh, comes in gorgeous blue vinyl. What's on there? It's supposed to be on there. Anyway, yeah. So this is really cool. Um, I said it's lots of keyboards, one man project. It's symphonic, uh, but still black metal bass. But I said there's even some some death metal in there. Even chucked in a cool sticker. I know um, you can tell there's death metal in there because I know um, Anthony from Metal Miners is a big fan. Even put in a pin badge as well. So yeah, awesome stuff. There's still some available on Bandcamp. Get over there and get it. Uh, it's on Spirit Copy in that goods. But yeah, Journey into Darkness, good ship. I think this is his third full length I want to say Infinite Universe Infinite Death it's called uh, da, 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 da. yeah third full length came out 2021 I think but yeah excellent stuff another swig drink hope it still gets dry <coughs> <coughs> right we need through this three more to go uh, this is um, two piece I think called Dude Swens. The album's called Lichtvies. Um <coughs> from the Netherlands, black metal. A female drummer. Good stuff. Yeah. Let's pick this up quite cheap off her. Uh, Amazon, it's on Svart Records. I think Metal Marty Matt might have given me a heads up on this one. Something like 12 quid or something stupid like that. It's really good. Um, yeah, that's the black vinyl. Good ship. I enjoyed it. Next up, uh, we've got two the issues. This one has been the issue. This is the issue. And it's the Mastered. Um, classic black metal band. This is the remastered version of um, Mayhem's Grand Declaration of War. Um, I know Dave over the Cavernous Carnage 213 is a big fan of this album. In fact, he put it number one in his Mayhem ranking. I knew he was a big fan. I bought this a couple of months back when he was fucking waffling on about it when I said I needed more Mayhem. This is obviously their second full length album. Um, first one without uh, Euronymous, obviously, after the fucking death and that. Uh, a lot of people didn't think they should have brought another album out, should have finished the band and all that sort of shite, but they did. So, as this says here, um, strictly limited to I don't know, about 550 copies worldwide. Completely they mixed and they mastered from the original master tapes, including inserts with liner notes and a producer. Which is that. Um, relics are all set in the gatefold. Different album. Obviously, this is the the dove before they got fucking slaughtered on the barbed wire on the original cover. Um, this is actually on gold vinyl. Looks like a catamite bar, doesn't it? I wanted to. Um, line up for this, I put down. We got Massacre on vocal, uh, Maniac on vocals, um, Necro Butcher on bass, obviously, uh, Hellhammer on drums, and Blasphemer on guitar. Um, awesome album. It's quite experimental in places. Well, it's very fucking experimental in places. I know a lot of people hate it. I really liked it. Um, I, I said I like the last 
Mayhem album, Damon as well, so I might get some more of their stuff, but that's really good, really enjoy that, the, I don't know what the original sounds like, but that remaster sounds fucking sweet, and last but by no means least, possibly one of the albums that maybe started it all, first wave of black metal, uh, Swedish band Bathory, yeah, one of the first black metal albums, it's even got just a plain black thing with the lyrics on the other side, Excellent stuff. This is a Lee release, obviously, on Black Mark Records. Yeah, I know Dave had a um, original, which I could have bought off him, but I couldn't afford it at the time because I bought so much other shit. So that was actually sold to somebody abroad, if I remember that, I think. Yeah, the battery album. Anyway, yeah, just black vinyl. So this is the issue on Black Mark. Oh my, plastic. Plastic Head. Yeah, distributed by Plastic Head. So yeah, it's fucking first battery album. 1984. Fucking classic. So yeah, that's me done. I hope you enjoyed listening to Isel Um Yeah. I just thought I'd sneak in a cheeky fucking uh, collection update because I haven't done one for like three weeks and I've had loads of other videos putting up and I want to put the second lot of Dave's collection up later this week so I thought I'd just do one of these in between I've been in a lot, quite a few live streams and stuff hope you watch them all uh, and I'll see you guys soon later oh yeah thanks for uh, new subscribers and shit awesome thank you people I still can't believe you want to watch me waffle on about shit but there you go I watch other people I suppose on YouTube waffle on about fucking music as well so there you go go figure I wouldn't fucking watch me but thank you for doing it anyway don't, don't fuck off please appreciate it later